Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to find the app data folder in Windows. So this should work across any modern version of the Windows operating system, so Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. And if you're looking for the app data folder in order to retrieve files or perhaps put files in, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go jump into it, and we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Just buckle on the start bar one time. Type in the percent sign, app, data, so A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, then another percent sign, so it should say percent sign, app data, percent sign. The best resource should come back with a file folder here. Left click on that one time, and you might have to give it a moment to load up on the screen, but you can see we are in app data here, and it directly takes us into the roaming files, but if you just backtrack and left click on app data up at the top, it'll actually take us into all the app data files here. So pretty straightforward tutorial there guys, do about I was able to work. Now if you're unable to see the app data folder perhaps, maybe you have hidden files and folders disabled, you want to go up to the view tab up at the top left of File Explorer and left click on Options on the far right side here. Under View, so left click on the View tab, Hidden Files and Folders, you want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Left click on Apply and OK. Now if for some reason you were unable to actually get to this page, you could get to it by clicking on the little Windows or File Explorer icon in the bottom of your system tray. Most computers have it down here by default, so you don't probably even have to search for it. So if you just actually left click on this file folder here, you can go and adjust the hidden file settings again right through there, so pretty straightforward. You can also go into the start menu and type in File Explorer, so pretty straightforward process. And I do hope I was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.